So for some of you who are familiar with QTP and some descriptive programming, maybe you are, maybe you're not, but it's okay. Some of you may recognize a command like this. Do you guys remember commands like this? This is the page object model in UFT. You have the browser that has the page, that has the link, and you can click that link. The only problem here is that this little action is not encapsulated in a method called login or whatever the action is. But this hierarchy of a parent that has objects that do actions is exactly the same. We have a parent page that does actions that directly mimic what the web page actually does, right? When we pull up our Chrome here and look at this page, when you come to the QTP tutorial login page, what do you do? You log in, right? You can also click the register link and you can say, do I forgot your password. And we mimic that with our code because it's so logical. It makes everything so easy, which brings me to the benefits of the page object model. The first one is that it helps us to separate what we test from how we test it. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how we test something. What matters is what we test, right? It matters that we are logging in with a valid username and password. So why does your test care whether you're logging in like this? Or like this, right? See here, we are separating of how the test works. It doesn't matter how these actions are happening. What matters is that we're logging in, whether with a valid username or an invalid username, it doesn't matter. What's important is that we are logging in and this one says it, this one does not really do that. And so what it does is it helps to make your tests also very easy to write and easy to read as a result of this, because they are basically self-documenting, right? If we do something like this and then do an assert, assert that it's true that we're at the membership page, doesn't that tell you what happened and what the expected behavior is that if a valid user logs in, that he successfully goes to the membership page as opposed to something like this? Then something like that, right? This is much less clear than this of what the test does. And not to mention it's much more verbose. 